What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're taking a look at a really unique home cleaning product that is pretty much able to automate a huge part of your home maintenance process. So if you guys have been watching my channel for the past couple years especially, you've noticed that I've started doing a lot of home content. And the reason for that is simply because you guys seem to like to watch that a lot. And even though we still review smartphones, tablets, and computers, at some point that does get a little bit boring. It's the same thing with like spec upgrades, a few innovative features a year, but with homes you can really get creative. And I personally have a huge interest in real estate and interior design, where you take a space that is decent but needs a lot of work and you turn it into a specific style. And especially in the past year, you guys have seen the journey of this entire office space that we're filming in right now, where it was a 20 year old unit that looked pretty bad and I ripped it all apart and made it into the dream office where we produce our videos and edit upstairs as well as hosting nights where we're watching hockey or Formula One in the morning. So it's sort of like a lounge that has like a very kind of monochromatic industrial style with touches of wood. With that home series though, we've also talked a lot about technology, not only through the desk setups and like the work from home space, which has been really popular in the past year, but also through home technology and automation. And you guys have seen us check out a ton of home tech over the years, whether it is smart bulbs, as well as like really cool kitchen accessories, coffee making tools, and just like decorations that don't really have as much functional use, but look really nice and still integrate tech as well and also some more extreme stuff that is going to be coming in the next few months, which I'm really excited for. So today we're taking a look at a product that is really unique in the robotic cleaning category. And you guys might know we've tested out a lot of cleaning products in the past. I like to use handheld ones, and I also really like to test out automated stuff as well, because at the end of the day, even though I'm a huge fan of like decorating spaces to make them look nice, and we have another project coming up very soon, one thing that I'm admittedly really bad at is keeping these places clean and tidy. This office, for example, is fully concrete floors. And with that also comes like a lot of dust and smudges. And in the place that I live, which you guys have seen videos there as well, it is fully hardware floor and I always just forget to clean it. So this right here is the Narwhal T10 and huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And in the world of robot vacuums, there's been a lot of innovation, especially in the past few years. It wasn't really a big market many years ago, but specifically there's been a ton of advancements in how they're able to avoid objects, clean better, have better functionality, their mapping features and this one right here is no different but it does have one feature that no other robot vacuum has and it's the fact that it is the world's first self-cleaning robotic vacuum you see this base station back there it is actually very stylish but it is definitely large and what that is able to do is actually utilize its mopping function to clean the pads itself so it will go around the house, it will vacuum, it will also mop and when it's ready it will go back and you have like a water reservoir and it's able to clean the pads and actually collect the wastewater and send it back out to clean from the same space right away. So the T10 right here as you can see is very small and it's super minimal and it has like just like a white look to it. Nothing really crazy about the design but it is clean and I think it looks pretty good. There's the sensors on the front as well as the edge detection on the bottom and you can also very easily switch out between the vacuum mode and also the mop mode. So there you go, you just kind of take it off. Inside the box, they actually include every single thing that you do need, including the vacuum itself. There's also all the accessories and there's also the replacement brush heads and there's also a separate box with the actual base station. And from there, you just go ahead and plug it in and the setup process is actually very simple. Just make sure the vacuum has enough charge. You go ahead and scan the QR code that is inside the vacuum right here and it will let you download the app right away. And as soon as you have the app downloaded, you just add the vacuum, turn it on by pressing on the power button for two seconds and then hold the pause and power button together for two seconds and it will connect to your Wi-Fi network. From there, it will head to the base station and after it is charged, it will do an initial scan of your place and build a map based on that. So as you guys can probably see here, after the map was done, it was actually a really accurate illustration of the place. And you can set different zones, you can optimize which room is what, and it also comes with a magnetic strip that keeps it from going into certain rooms. So I found that to be very cool because the most important feature of any robot vacuum is how it is able to navigate the place and also avoid certain areas they don't want it to go to, as well as avoiding stuff like maybe precious carpets and cables that might be laying around, which in a tech office is a very common thing.
So beginning with the vacuum function itself, this is able to suction at about 1800 PA. And what I like about it is that the brushes actually go in alternating directions. So it actually does a pretty good job in ensuring that everything goes into the collection bin. It has a battery runtime of about three hours and especially on concrete, as I mentioned, dust is really easy to notice. And this rug right here loves to shed. And especially after a renovation, there is still dust that is kind of settling over the next couple months. So ensuring that we upkeep the place through vacuum vacuuming is very important. In terms of object detection, it also did a relatively good job. It wasn't able to like specifically sense different objects, but it was able to see where it was going and when it sensed something, it would kind of avoid getting stuck. If there was like, say like the den area where I have like a whole bunch of camera stuff that day, I can also draw a zone and tell it not to go there for the specific clean. Generally speaking though, it just sweeps everything into the collection chamber right here. And when it comes to emptying it out, it is also super simple. Just open it up at the front and um, just pull the latch there. And as you can see, it has collected quite a bit of dust and just empty that out and you're good to go. Even though this has like the ability to clean its own mop, which is really innovative and something that no other robot vacuum has, it actually would have been nice if there is a way for it to actually clean the dustbin as well to 100% automate the entire process. But I know that's a little bit nitpicky and emptying it out a few seconds isn't very hard either. Another very important thing when it comes to vacuum though is something that is not too tall. This one actually fits really well under almost everything, whether you have like a low bed, the coffee table right here is able to go right underneath and a robot vacuum is not effective if it can't fit in places and this one definitely can. So when it comes to going around in concrete, as you can see, it is able to do a really good job in cleaning and I definitely notice it after just one pass. As for running on hardwood floor, that is also very important because I find that dust does pile up in my house quite fast as well. There's a couple rugs and whenever you're like washing your bedding, it just seems to leave like feathers all over the place. And this right here was able to navigate the entire house, draw a nice map and even stay out of certain areas such as a rug that really likes to shed. And generally speaking, the three hour runtime was able to work perfectly fine for a space that is about 800 square foot in the bottom level of the office and 1200 square foot at my condo. So now let's go ahead and talk about the mopping features, which is probably the main reason why you're considering the Narwhal T10. Because there are a lot of vacuums on the market and all of them are able to do the vacuuming process pretty well. And a lot of them do have the mopping feature as well, but it is almost as if it was an afterthought. From the ones that I've tested out, they pretty much vacuum and they drag a brush along it and it kind of just like, I don't know, wets the floor a little bit, but it didn't really do a good job when it comes to the mopping. This one right here is able to really focus in on the mopping because that entire base station is essentially made just to ensure that you get the best mopping experience, the self-cleaning features, and also the way that the rotation of the actual mop pads work. So if you take a look at the bottom right here, we were able to switch out the base of the actual vacuum brush to the mopping pieces in like five seconds. And the reason why it's so effective on stains and the deep cleaning itself is because the brushes actually rotate in opposite directions just to make sure it agitates the surface and gives it a proper pass. And just from like looking at my floor, I don't really feel like it's that dirty, especially after the vacuuming. But after going around for a couple minutes, mopping the floors before I filmed this video, it actually seems like it's picked up a lot of stuff. And I guess that does make sense because we're like walking around with shoes and everything. There's boxes and all that. So this is able to really ensure that your place is nice and clean. So yeah, the mopping feature actually works very well. It is able to clean stains and spills and all that. But what is unique about the Narwhal specifically is that it is able to detect when it's dirty on its own and head back to the base station. It will wash and clean the pads themselves and collect the dirty water and also wet the pads again. So it will go back out after that's done. It will find the same spot that it was at and start cleaning the areas that it hasn't already based on the map. It is also super quiet at just 45 decibels during the mopping, so you won't even notice it at all. As you guys probably know, I really like my loft because it is two levels, so I can just sit upstairs and edit and just have this thing go around and clean it, and it doesn't bother me at all because it is just relatively quiet, and it's able to just do its thing, and I don't have to control anything, and if I really had to, I can just go to the phone app and see where it's at. Each water tank holds about 1.3 gallons and allows the T10 to wash a sizable space of up to around 2,150 square foot. 
So I'm able to let it go through the entire office like three or four times before we even have to change the water. And it's super easy because instead of having to like wash and dry the pads, I just have to take out the dirty water, dump that out and fill the clean water tank once again. And it is ready to go when it comes to the vacuum and mopping process. So on concrete, this was able to do a really good job. And I also tested it out on hardwood floor over at my house. And once again, as expected, it was able to do that as well. I do like that it's able to keep the mop pads nice and wet, but not to the point where it's going to damage real wood because at my house, it is real hardwood. And for example, in the retail store that I co-own that is vinyl floors with heavy foot traffic on certain days, this is able to once again, be very beneficial when it comes to ensuring that it is nice and clean. Talk you a bit about the base station. It looks like a funny little home for the vacuum itself. And in there you have your blue and your white compartment, which tells you which one is the clean water and the wastewater, which is very easy to understand. I also really like the fact that you have a screen on the top that gives you the status of the vacuum itself. So if it's out and about and cleaning the place, it will show that on the screen. And if it's like washing the pads or the pads are dirty, it will also show all that status on it. There's also a touch capacitive start stop button as well as a home button. So if you want to like go back, just press that and it will just kind of rest and charge. Say you're trying to film a video or you just don't want the noise of like the vacuum, you can just call it back. And once you're ready to start it up again, it will pick up where it left off. The next property that I'm also working on is also fully vinyl floors. And that is just because it is durable and super easy to clean. I know a lot of people have carpet out there and if you have carpet then you probably don't need to get the narwhal. You can just get a robot vacuum or a handheld vacuum that is able to clean the carpet because the mopping feature is not really going to be useful to you. But pretty much every new property that I've seen nowadays is going with like vinyl, hardwood and concrete seems to be coming back as well and especially in industrial spaces. So I've really seen mopping features be a huge selling point in robot vacuums and the Narwhal is the one that does it the best by a mile. No other vacuum is able to have like a base that calls it back and physically cleans the brushes and sends it back out again and I feel like that is just like a part of home automation that makes it so special because as we move on throughout the years, more of this entire process and like robotic cleaning and robotic home maintenance and all this kind of stuff is just gonna keep getting better. So I've started watching a lot of TikTok in the past year or so, and I know a lot of people make fun of it, think it's stupid and non-educational, but honestly, a lot of these products that come up in my For You page are great ideas for videos and really show the side of home tech that I've never seen before. And the Narwhal T10 is actually one of the products that I saw on TikTok and I thought it was cool that something was able to clean itself. So when they reached out and asked to sponsor the video, it was actually a product that I was already familiar with. And the fact that it looks really cool and futuristic and has like a nice screen on it are all features that I really enjoy about this vacuum. It is just easy to use. The app was generally pretty reliable and it was do, able to do like a pretty good job in the mapping process itself. And the only complaint that I do have is that there are better options on the market when it comes to obstacle avoidance. Stuff like shoes, cables, those are ones that certain vacuums seem to struggle with a little bit more. And this is one where it didn't necessarily get stuck that often, but when it came to like rugs and stuff, it may have like false detected a couple times here and there, but generally speaking, it was able to clean the entire office no problem. The one feature that I do wish it had though was the ability to actually clean out the dustbin as well. I know a couple other companies do that and I feel like it is a simple feature that we might see in the future. And even though like washing and drying the mop pads are a bit more work than just dumping out the dustbin, I feel like that one feature could have made it like the ultimate all-in-one hands-off system that you really only have to touch like once a week or so. But that is just me being super lazy and quite nitpicky. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, I'm going to have all the links below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.